What's up guys, this is Balash from Racing Brick. Two months ago I made a video about the new and the old big tumblers and also included this new minifix care tumbler for comparison. I have to confess that I liked this one the most. I even thought this might be the best minifix scale Batmobile so far. But is it really the one? LEGO had so many Batmobiles released in the past, so it would be quite a challenge to collect them all. I had to rely mainly on our own collection, so it's a very arbitrary lineup of bat vehicles you can see here. All of them was either in a movie or in a TV show, so that might be a criteria for the selection, but it's definitely not a complete lineup. These two came from my son's room and they had a lot of play sessions during the years, so they don't have the minifigs and some parts are missing as well. They are from 2017 and both of them were in the Lego Batman movie. The bigger one is called the Ultimate Batmobile, it had 1456 pieces and the price was 140 bucks, easily the most expensive set here. The other one is simply called the Batmobile, has 581 pieces and the price was 60 dollars back then. I have to confess that I cheated with the next one here. This is the 1989 Batmobile limited edition set. That was a gifted purchase in 2019. You could get it for free if you bought the big one. I did not manage to get it at the release and the price nowadays is astronomical. Spending $100-$130 on a set that only has 366 parts is not a good deal at all. Luckily the instructions and the part list is public, apart from the sticker it does not have any unique parts, so I had to spend only like $30 on Brickling to build it, although I already found some parts for it in our Lego bins. The last two sets are from this year, this is the Batman Classic TV series Batmobile, it has 345 pieces and the price is 30 bucks. That was built from the box so it has all the accessories and minifigures. And here's the last one you could already see in the previous video, the set called Batmobile Tumblr Scarecrow Showdown. It has 422 pieces and the price is 40 bucks. So here are a bunch of cool Batmobiles, but which one is the best? Well, despite the ultimate Batmobile name, calling this contraption a Batmobile is a huge understatement. This is actually four vehicles in one. The Batwing sits at the rear, that one is fairly easy to remove. Then it becomes a bit more complicated, there are a few things to do for 3D bat tank and lots of things can be moved around on that one. Unfortunately we are missing a few pieces from the rear, but you get the concept. The front becomes the Batmobile, but there's a last trick here. The bat cycle comes out at the rear, it has folding wheels, so here are the four separate units together. This cool bat signal is also part of the set, it has a light up brick inside. It's a massive set with tons of functional and moving things here and there. It can give you long hours of playtime, but I think it's actually a bit too much. Things are sometimes challenging to align. I remember it took some attempts for my son to assemble it correctly, and it's fairly easy to lose bits here and there. This set had, by the way, a bunch of different minifigures and accessories, but they are somewhere now in the abyss of Lego bins in the kids' room. The next one is the Batmobile from the same movie. This one had Batman, Robin and some villains. I remember building this one was quite fun as it has lots of tech elements. The main feature of this vehicle is the setup of the wheels, they can be adjusted in a surprising amount of ways. All wheels have a mechanism that allows a height adjustment. It uses this piece and can click in several positions. As a result we can come up with quite a few configurations for the Batmobile. The next surprising feature is the ability to swivel out the wheels turning the Batmobile into the local champion of parallel parking. You can even combine the different positions freely, so there are tons of play opportunities here. Apart from the obligatory shooters on the sides, there's another play function. The roof can be ejected with the knob at the back. It works pretty well, and both Batman and Robin have space inside the cabin. This is a quite sturdy build, the wheels can hold the position well, I really like it. The next one is the gift with purchase 1989 Batmobile. It had no minifigures originally, but it has a nice display stand instead. As this is a rebuild, I don't have the original sticker, but I think I will contact forward sticker for a nice replica. I have to say, I really love this build. All the shapes and details of the original Batmobile are here, even at minifigure scale. The big version was certainly impressive, but making it right in this size is a bigger achievement for sure. I especially like the front section. It is a fun exercise to take a closer look and try to figure out what parts were used here. There are some play features as well, shooters on the sides, the cabin roof opens forward, revealing the gauges and the steering wheel with the seat. There's a huge flame at the rear that is driven by the rear wheels, it's a nice extra. I love the barrels on the sides, although we might complain because they are not black. 
First, I thought this color was chosen because it does not exist in black, but it actually appeared in two 2020 sets after a single appearance in 1990. As this set is from 2019, it probably wasn't ready yet then, but now it's a fairly common piece again on Bricklink, I might swap it in the future. Here's a set from 2021, the Batman Classic TV series Batmobile. It has two minifigs, Batman and Joker, both of them having the proper look from the series. It's a bit odd to see Joker here instead of Robin, but the minifigs are nice and detailed otherwise. This Batmobile also has a stand, and now I have the appropriate sticker on it. We see Adam West on it along with some important data about the car. Times have changed, I think Batman never thought that in 2021 we will have family cars with a better acceleration. But the top speed is certainly impressive, that bad fuel has some tricks for sure. The details are quite nice, the designers tried to squeeze as much of the original as possible at this scale, including the iconic phone in the middle, the radar, the siren, the rear exhaust or the parachutes. We can store some tools and extra pieces in the trunk, the shooters can be replaced for a cleaner look. The last one here is the Batmobile Tumblr. I already reviewed this one in my video with the big tumblers, you can check it by clicking on the link in the top right corner. It has two minifigures, Batman and Scarecrow with detailed prints, Batman even has a second head which is really pretty scary. I still love the look and all the details, it does not have much functions apart from the opening cockpit which is nice and detailed and the obligatory shooters, but the whole set is very sturdy, much much better in this aspect than the bigger brothers. As I said, this is not a complete collection, there are obvious missing items like the new Batmobile, the Penguin Chase set, but that one is not yet released in Europe unfortunately. It's very difficult to pick a single one even from these, I would say these are my top 3 Batmobiles here. I like this one from the Batman movie because of the unusual features, the designers had the freedom to make something unique and they nailed it. The 1989 Batmobile and the Tumblr both look very accurate in this scale and they are still playable. I actually prefer these over the big versions because of this. I would love to hear your thoughts, which one is your favorite minifix scale Batmobile or any other Batmobile released by LEGO? Please let me know in the comments. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe and tap that notification bell if you don't want to miss my upcoming LEGO reviews and other LEGO RC videos. See you next time, bye bye. Oh,